I talked last night about the gruesome cruelty and inhumanity of these Hamas attacks. What is the latest? And have the Israeli Defence Forces regained control of that area around Sterot? So I, I will begin by answering your second question because uh, thank you for having me, uh, Alan, on this program. Um, our first goal in this um, war, in this operation, well, uh, the overall goal, of course, is to dismantle Hamas's military capabilities and to make sure that they will lack the motivation by the end of this to ever again in, in the coming decades for generations to launch an attack of this kind. Um, this was unprecedented, as you know, in both scope and brutality, the attack that took place on Saturday. But this war is ongoing. They keep challenging us. Our enemies keep challenging, challenging us on different fronts. We had a few um, attempts to infiltrate again from the south, from the beach uh, in around Zikim area. We had another attempt from the north and we tell our enemies do not try us. And as time goes by, I am, uh, it is very hard to, to admit it that, you know, uh, we thought that the worst was behind us with this attack on Saturday, but now what is transpiring is, again, the, the scope of the brutality, as you described. We had IDF forces and um, first responder forces in the vicinity, um, uh, in the communities in the vicinity of the Gaza Strip, the kibbutzim, some of them are kibbutzim. And uh, they discovered, I, I don't know if you've seen this headline, but uh, bodies of children yeah, and, yeah. and and babies, yeah. about dozens, mm. dozons of them. Some say 40, but I, I don't want to give you an exact number because no. that's, these are the media headlines. Again, um, some beheaded. It's, it's not some beheaded. Mm. Some beheaded. And also in one of the kibbutzim, uh, you you had bodies of, of babies. This is how uh, they described it to me. Uh, with hand, uh, tied handed and also shot in their heads. It's unbelievable. This kind of... It, it's, it's inexplicable. It's savagery. Inex savagery, brutally. Yeah, barbarism. Just one question. You're in Jerusalem. Are you safe? I, I, I'm in Tel Aviv, in fact, oh, right Aviv. now. I am right. safe. I, I am safe. I... I Yesterday, we had to run to the shelter a few times during the day. Uh, right now, it is around 10 a.m. Uh, Israel time. And so far in Tel Aviv, we, yeah, there was no siren that went off. Not today. I, I understand so that in, I feel safe. Yes, yeah, so I understand that in kibbutz, Hamas killed 100 people, which is about 10% of the population. Uh, Tal, in the last hour, uh, just before you came on air here, I've had a note from friends of mine in Israel, and they tell me that terrorists have been calling bereaved families and taunting them after killing and raping their children. What do we make of that? I can, I can tell you about one story of um, a granddaughter, that's a young woman, who posted on her Instagram, if I'm not wrong or not Facebook, um, that her grandmother went missing. Hamas saw the post and uh, they delivered an answer. They sent the video of the execution of her grandmother from the grandmother's phone to the family. They also posted it. Oh, so nice. this is how the family had discovered that the grandmother was slain. God help me. 